have you guys ever wondered why uh, white people they tend to be uh, so different? They tend to isolate themselves from the rest of the crowd. Well, I connected to this quote from Marvel that says, "People who make no noise are dangerous." So today, I'm going to explain to you uh, three people that I know that are very quiet. The people that I knew that were very, very quiet and very different from the rest of the crowd. Uh, I knew one kid back when I was in, a, in a elementary school that uh, he was always very um, unquiet and always uh, kept to himself. And uh, I knew, I knew uh, there was, for some reason, this, uh, these, these, these other big kids, they would come to him and they would, uh, they would bully him and they would uh, mess, mess around with him. And I remember um, one day he, he finally just had enough and he, uh, he, uh, one of the one of the bigger kids that was bothering him, he literally just got a chair and he like chucked it at him. And after that, he he stopped bothering him. After that, and uh, and that's just one example. And um, um, second example, I knew back when I was in high school, I knew this one kid and that uh, he he was also very quiet as well in class. Um, in my math class, he would never uh, raise his hand. And uh, like, like uh, people wondered uh, if he were uh, if he was smart or not. People thought that he was uh, dumb because he would never like say anything. He would never uh, he never um, participate. But uh, he but but I ended up uh, hearing overhearing that he actually had the best grade in the, in the whole class, and he had, he actually aced all the tests. And uh, and so so he was actually a very intelligent person, and uh, which people judged him wrongly. And um, the last person I know, it's not really a person I know, but just from a movie that I saw. Um, I saw this movie the other day called Vice, and uh, this, uh, it, the movie talks about uh, this guy, this, uh, the vice president of the United States, um, that, the vice president for, um, that was uh, the vice president for the president of George Bush. His name was Dick Cheney. And uh, the, the movie basically explains how, how, uh, how he was basically the most powerful vice president that the United States has ever had, and he uh, he he, uh, he, uh, he basically he basically roamed with power, and he did it like a ghost. Like no one really knows about him. Like if you ask anybody, like nowadays, like nobody would tell you like like who's Dick Cheney, you know. But he was actually very powerful, and he controlled the military and foreign policy and, and a lot of things. And uh, so yeah. In conclusion, um. Uh, People who are very quiet, they tend to be—they uh, tend to be the ones that you have to look out for, because you never know what they can do. Thank you. All right. Well, I think your topic lead-in is okay. You're very direct in what it is your goal is in the presentation. There's a preview at the beginning of the speech. So kind of the mechanical stuff when it comes to structuring is in good shape. In the body of the speech, you also do the same sort of thing. You've got uh, good transitions between your points. I know how many points there are. I, they're pretty distinctive. You've got a little bit more detail on the first point than you do on the second point, but uh, both of them seem a little repetitive. <laughs> I like the idea of the third point that you have in re referencing the movie. Of course, you kind of leave it at an abstract level. You just give us the conclusions. I think you want to give us some examples of things that uh, Cheney did that are illustrations of his power and now how, how uh, not so much secretive, how, but how he is the, the sort of the quiet person in that situation. Although, I, you know, having lived through that period of time, uh, I think I, I remember a lot of people squawking about Cheney one way or the other. <coughs> so, but now, like you said, uh, a decade after he's out of office, it's probably a faded memory for most people. The, the delivery things, I think, are the things that are a little bit problematic. You've got nervous feet, you know, you're doing a little too much movement with your feet and it's not purposeful. So 
there's, there's nothing wrong with the kinds of movements that you're making, but you want them you want them to time out to the things that you're talking about. So when you step from one spot to another, it should be for a purpose to emphasize a point or to transition between an idea, and it just looks like you you're just moving. You know, kind of like a boxer dancing before the round starts. You know, I'm getting the energy out. I'm getting into a flow, but it doesn't feel like it's part of the fight itself. It's you know, it's the preliminary kind of stuff that people are getting into. You, you, you could project a little bit more. Your voice, I think, needs to be a little bit more forceful. I could hear you for the most part. That was fine. But I think you could put a little bit more energy into the presentation. And so that's where you need to work on things with your voice a bit. And then you just don't look at us very much. I mean, I, you, you occasionally look up, but you're talking in front of us. You're not talking to us. So that'll be something that you'll want to work on also. So I think you've got the mechanics of the speech right. You have a point that you're trying to make. There was a good amount of detail on each of those points. Those are all solid. You've got to work on the delivery things because that's what we're working on right now. Uh, and I think, I think you're right at the brink of making good progress on all of those things. You just need to have a little bit more confidence and... Don't forget to talk to us. We're, we're not that scary, you know? Okay, thank you.